Hey class, we will now be discussing Margaret Cavendish and her work that we'll be studying is female orations, okay, for on pages 161 to 164 of our anthology. Here's a picture of Margaret Cavendish. Look at her, lovely. Um, we also have several web links um, in the lecture that you can look at to um, find out more information if you like um, to read more about Margaret and her life and works. So, aristocratic Margaret Cavendish lived from 1623 to 1673 to about 50 years of age. Because of her eccentric love of science, mode of dress, and the fact that she wrote at all, Margaret, whose husband was a royalist, that means he supported the king um, during the time of the Puritan reign in England. So during that commonwealth, he still supported the monarchy. He supported Charles I. Um, of course, Charles I was beheaded, so I guess, you know, that would have been supporting the king and heirs, right? Um, so she herself, Margaret, was regarded as a freak because she was part of the aristocracy. aristocracy. But very much diverged from them. She was called the crazy duchess because she dared do what society deemed was appropriate for males only. Now for class, we read Cavendish's female orations, itself a seeming contradiction in the evolution of idea throughout the piece. Perhaps the contradiction again betrays the complexities and dilemmas that confronted women of this age. Now it is written like it's a dialogue, like the first oration is given and then the next one might be a diverging voice. And the one that follows that may be rebutting again. So we have like this back and forth dialogue of, of dueling voices and, and uh, of many diverse voices from the time period, but very much addressing the female situation and the dilemmas confronting them. So this is a fun piece. And Margaret Cavendish is an unusual and very interesting character. She dressed very differently from women of the time period, kind of invented her own fashion. And she loved science, which was so neat. Like, he didn't have women being exposed to that kind of education at the time. So for a woman to love and support uh, science um, is, is really unusual and really refreshing. So enjoy Margaret Cavendish and the work of hers that we read for class, female orations. Thanks.